I recorded this whole video just now, and then someone from the government walked up for my U.S. census. That's stupid. So, anyways, we are here today to talk about the Maker Mini. Now, the Maker Mini has actually been out for a little bit now, and when it first came out, I knew that it was already going to change, so I didn't do a video on it. I had posted some pictures with it over time, blah, blah, blah. But now that the uh, new model is out and I got one, I kind of want to show you guys kind of how I've been using them uh, and what the new model looks like compared to the old model. Just kind of do a little overview and some of the fun things you can do with them and just different stuff like that. So Maker Mini is an all orange carbon fiber trad pole. The old model is this, okay? This is a five section, 10 foot pole. So fully extends, very, very rigid. It's carbon fiber, small section. So there's really, there is no bend in it whatsoever, okay? What this one you would do is you would either have like a, you could have a wood tip like this. So it comes like that, right? You could do that. Or you could have a bunch of other different tips, but usually the most highly bought and the most, uh, most used is the Unger tip, okay? So that's how this pole comes. Um, let's talk about how the new pole comes. So the new pole can come one of two ways. All right, so the first major way to have it be a 11 foot pole is like what you see it. But to have it be an eight foot pole, which is how it will come if you just buy the base model of it, which is this five section, eight foot pole, you'll either get it with, once again, the wood tip, or you'll get it with the Unger tip, okay? Pay a little more when you get the Unger tip, of course. So that would be it, right? That would be the Maker Mini. Um, this one is $199. Now, if you were to get one version up and you get the add-on set, you add 11 feet to this pole, which is already an eight foot pole. So you get another base section like this, you go on there, and all these sections have end defenders. So these are plastic end defenders. They hold up very, very well. Um, put that on there and you actually would not need this either. So you wouldn't have to buy this with it if you buy it with the add-on set. You just have this piece of carbon fiber, a uh, little bit longer than the, the Zero Trad adapter. So that is what makes this pole very, very different than any other pole right now, is you also can buy it with this piece, which was like perfect. If you're on top of a ladder, something's a little too high and you need extra reach, this would be a perfect little stick, I would call it. So then that just goes in there, slides in, and boom. That is your Trad pole. Now this has been very nice for storefronts. Um, I'm used to, you know, the zero trad pole, which has a lot longer, you know, sections on it. So it took a little bit to get used to the shorter section, but once I have, it's a very nice pole, mostly for storefronts. It's a great storefront pole. Also a good pole for like inside of homes. You know, there's a lot of stuff inside homes and this is nice because you can always hold the back of it and know where the pole is. So it's not flinging about. So if you need like a short pole and you, you do a lot of things like that, this could be a great pole. Now, here is the other way you could use it. So I, I've been using it, you know, traditionally for a lot of different things, but this is probably one of my favorite things is to have a really short, awesome water fed pole. So I've been using the old one for that since now I have a new one for trad stuff. So this is what I always have ready in my van. I have one pole that's already with all my tubes going through it. My hose is going through it all set up with the univalve and it's brushed. Univalve's already installed, blah, blah, blah. The other thing I always have in the truck is one extra, basically 30 foot section of zero hose with the univalve already on it, um, all installed. What does that mean basically? I have the univalve there, I already have it, you know, crimped into that area right there. I got a brush on it, or you can have it without the brush. You really don't need to have the brush on it. So then what you do, is you just simply go to the end of your pole hose. And the reason why I have it like this is because then I can switch it out of any other pole that I want to use. 
I can even switch it out of the trad pole if I want to use the trad pole. But if I'm in like just a weird situation on the top of the ladder, today I was at a job, top of the ladder, there wasn't just a lot of room to move and it worked perfectly. Or if you want to go into window belts and use it, it works perfectly. There's just a lot of different ways to use this because there's no, there's no other water fed pole, you know, basically that you could use like this. Of course there's adapters for, you know, array poles and different stuff like that. But then what I do, you just put that down in there so you don't waste all that time having to reinstall that univalve. And then you just bring it through. And then this ending part, right? Univalve just goes right in that section there. And then boom, I got myself a little mini, Maker Mini water fed pole. So you got your Maker Mini water fed pole and you got your Maker Mini trap pole. You got everything Maker Mini pole. And then what I always suggest on like any of these zero poles, when you put this um, zero anti-spin tip in, any of your poles that you use for water fed pole, tighten this pretty good. I already have it tightened pretty good. I always tighten that pretty good. And that will help you get this off, especially in the summer, this gets hot, gets a little bit sticky, hard to get off. Um, but that's what I do. But that's pretty much it. You know, I just wanted to show you, we talk a lot about different poles on here. So a lot of you could say, wow, it's just another pole, right? But it does have a lot of different things about it than any other pole out there, which makes it pretty cool. and makes it a great storefront pole. And I know, you know, storefronts right now are kind of dead and it's kind of a rough market right now, but there's some that are doing perfectly fine. So also it can be used great as, you know, as a fill and go pole to go straight from your van. If you do a lot of storefronts, like Mike Nichols does a lot of storefronts with water fed pole, this would be like the perfect little pole because you really don't need anything longer than, you know, 11 feet. So, and you could just then switch it out to a trap pole very, very easily. So that is the Maker Mini. I hope you guys enjoy this video that shows the Maker Mini and uh, we'll talk soon, eh?